Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about what is the link between cold and the chances of getting fever and common cold. So people generally associate winter time with flu season. But do you know the reason why? In this video it would be pretty clear. So stay tuned till the end of this video. And these kind of videos are dedicated to public health and awareness. So please subscribe the channel and don't forget to share this video in your social media handles. Many people associate cold weather with common cold. But the weather doesn't have any direct relationship or direct correlation for making people sick. Now, the viruses that can cause common cold, about which we are going to learn in a moment, they can persist longer in a colder temperature. Also, they can spread easily when the temperature is low. And that is one of the reasons why these viruses are more prevalent in colder temperature than the temperature when the temperature is high. Now, exposure to cold temperature or dry air can have adverse effect on your immune system. In simple words, it can weaken your immune system such that your body finds it hard to fight with the pathogens. So overall, cold temperature increases the risk or make your body more susceptible towards these viruses. Let's look at the virus that generally cause common cold. So these viruses include rhinoviruses, influenza, parainfluenza, or even coronaviruses. Now, these coronaviruses is not the COVID-19. Now, most people generally recover from flu within a span of 10 days. So, it's not a big deal. Even children and people who are younger than 6 years, they are more susceptible towards these viruses. On an average, everybody gets flu for twice or thrice in a year. So rhinoviruses can spread via surfaces in forms of droplets. So it's a droplet infection as well. Researchers have shown that rhinoviruses may replicate more efficiently when the temperature is lower than 37 degrees centigrade. Remember that 37 degrees centigrade is our body temperature. Now, this is a heat map of our body. So in the summer, you see majority of our body is pretty much uh, at 37 degrees centigrade. But when you are outside in winter season, then many portions of your body, such as your uh, hands, palms, toes, some portion of your face, there might be a temperature drop. And that would increase your susceptibility towards the virus. Especially, the temperature inside the nasal cavity falls as low as 33 degrees centigrade, where the overall body temperature should be 37 degrees centigrade. And it makes an ideal breeding ground for these rhinoviruses. Now it makes sense why lower temperature makes us more susceptible towards these viruses. Now, recent researches have shown that with lowering of temperature, there is an increased correlation of occurrence of these kind of viral infection. These researchers monitored several patients, about 1000 patients throughout a year or more. And they have noticed the occurrence of fever or fever-like symptoms are more restricted towards the cold month, such as November to February. Here, red represent the humidity level. So humidity level drops during this winter. It makes the air more dry. And blue curve shows the temperature. So the temperature and humidity both are low when there is an increased infection. So this correlation nicely tells us that winter season makes us more susceptible towards infection. One study also suggests that the temperature has a nice correlation with the efficiency of viral transmission. At 5 degree, trans 5 degree centigrade temperature, influenza virus transmit more efficiently than other temperatures. Now, there are many reasons why 
we are more susceptible in the winter one of that reason is reduced vitamin d level now in summer season we are bathing in the sun and lot of sunlight is falling on our skin that is helping our body to synthesize vitamin d but in winter when we generally stay indoors we are not exposed to sun that often that reduces the vitamin d level if you are not taking any supplements and vitamin d has immune modulatory role so it is making our immunity weaker in general sunlight is really crucial for making the active form of vitamin d which has immune modulatory role moreover in the winter season we generally spend time with our families and spend time indoors so that kind of enhances the chance of the transmission of virus that means if one member of the family is infected with the virus it is more likely that other members would also get infected lower temperatures may also affect the way cell respond to viral infections now it has been seen in mouse models these cold viruses lead to infection in the nasal epithelia now generally nasal epithelia secretes molecules like interferons interferons are alarming molecule which allows other cells in the near vicinity to get well prepared for viral combat but it has been seen after cold exposure the interferon gamma level has decreased so these cells are not really sending out those alarming signal and not really helping out the neighbors to prepare better for viral infection so that is one of the reason for which cold can reduce our immune function now in colder climate the blood vessels inside our nose uh, are con uh, constricted generally when there is an infection our immune cells travel travel through these blood vessels and they can move their way out from these blood vessels and fight the pathogens but in the colder climate what happens is the blood vessels actually get constricted so due to this vasoconstriction immune cells find it difficult to move out and go to the site of infection so this is one of the way why we are more susceptible in colder climate than a hotter climate lastly the treatment of these kind of flu involves antipyretics which might bring down the temperature and make you feel better but the overall thing is you just need to relax stay uh, stay stress free and drink a hot cup of coffee and allow your body to fight back and that is how you get over the fever but do not ignore your fever sim symptoms it could be covid 19 as well so it's always advisable to consult your doctor immediately you might as well get yourself tested to nullify the possibility you are not having a covid 19 while common flu is uh, pretty much prevalent covid 19 these days is also a big problem and the treatment is better if you are diagnosed earlier so in this video we were supposed to learn what is the link between common cold and cold climate and at the end of this video we now know it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support my channel in patreon and you can also take my unacademy courses using code ap10 you can get 10% discount and if you are a indian viewer you can support my channel by uh, scanning this qr code with vim upi app thank you guys thanks for listening do let me know in the comment how you like my video